Shalom Israel. Just wanted to discuss a topic with y'all. Uh, well, it's kind of not a discussion because I'm talking to the camera. Ain't nobody, you know, it's not alive. But anyway, um, so I'm uh, just thinking about um, the spirit that we got in this nation about talking about others. There's too many Israelite men worried about what other Israelite men are doing in their personal lives or or whatever like we have to stick to the important things right stop worrying about stupidity you know I don't give a flying fuck if a brother is a mason if a brother is a hidden secret mason that had, that holds his hands a certain I don't give a fuck about that if they're going out in the streets and teaching the right doctrine that's what I'm concerned with Deal with the doctrine. Stop delving into shit, trying to trying to expose somebody when you don't even know. You know, it's it's like it, it, at this stage in, in in the truth. You know, you 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 sitting there watching a the guy's hands to see what they do with it is is is. I'm not gonna do what other men do and say it's a form of homosexual. No, it's not. But it's it's just weird, man. We got to get out of this fucking bullshit. You know, we're the only group that is so opposed to each other. Like Muslims have, I believe the Shiites and the, and the Sunnis or whatever, like two, two, two groups that are beefing. It's, but it's a whole fucking army against the army. It's not like every little camp is beefing with each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, have some form of unity, man. And even with that unity, that's not, that's not turn into the, the, the extremist Muslims, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's let's be, you know, still brotherly towards one another, man. Like that, that, that. What does the scripture say? Like a lot of y'all don't follow your house shot, man. And that's weird because you all talk about him. You know his name is in our salute, but it's like, yo, motherfuckers are still not living you're saying in the name of but you're not doing nothing in the name of you know what i mean all this extra infighting and and, and trying to expose each other you know what i mean like that's stupid i get it a lot of us don't like each other but remember the scriptures talk about his eye shall be evil toward his neighbor you know what i mean so you have to Make sure that your eye, you're not doing it out of your eye being evil towards your brother. Because if your eye is already evil towards your brother, there's no good he can do. Let's say, let's say for argument's sake, right? Let's say I didn't like, um, let's, let's just say I didn't like, uh, I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't really want to put any name out there. Let's say I didn't like Zabak. Right? Because I did have my issue with him before. Well, let's say I didn't like Zabak. Okay. Now that I'm looking for... Because, matter of fact, I am going to use him as an example. Back when I had when I had beef with him, everything he did, everything he did, I put under a microscope. I was looking for any wickedness. I was looking for anything that I could possibly find to, to nail him on, no homo. And that was wrong of me. You know, no matter what the situation is, you still have to look at your brother and say, hey, you know what? Um, Look at it from both sides, you know? Really examine, is this really wickedness or am I, is my mind playing tricks on me you know, because I because I have a beef with this brother. Because that really be what happens, man. All it takes is one bad day between you and a brother. And all of a sudden, World War Three breaks out because you two don't like each other. Because it, it, the minute he starts looking at you like, you know, looking for wickedness and shit, he's going to find a ton of wickedness. That's why I take very good care of my social media image, believe it or not. Because I know a lot of you probably think that I post reckless shit. Believe it or not, there's a lot of shit that I don't post. You 
You know, I have I have pictures where you know because it's 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 it might be a few of us lined up facing the camera. I'm not actually seeing what everybody's doing. And there's been times where somebody's throwing up a gang sign or somebody's throwing up, you know, that that party like a rock star Baphomet shit. Even though they don't fucking know what they're doing, they to them they just you know throwing up what, what you know the rock star symbol, not knowing that that rock star symbol is a satanic symbol. You know, not the rock star symbol in and of itself, but I mean, no, no, the rock star symbol in and of itself. You know what I mean? You know, but we we have to, you know, and, and I, I have to take very good care of my my social media as far as what I do with that. You know, because I know a lot of you niggas are out there fucking stalking my page. So what? Oh no, he don't even speak English. Are you Anyway, so. Um, but yeah, man, I, I take great care of my, of my social media image because I know that there's going to be brothers that are just gunning for an opportunity, gunning for something for me to take, to post a picture with somebody with, holding their hands the wrong fucking way. And they'll, they'll, they'll literally be like, yo, yeah, you see Shia, you know, he's not throwing up nothing, but look at his man. Or. I might have a, I might have a damn, uh, a whatchamacallit, I might have a symbol on my clothes, because, you know, I wear brands that have, that the, that the brand itself does use certain symbols that, you know, what, what if I'm wearing a Versace shirt, and it has a Medusa on it, you know what I'm saying, or the true religion jeans that I wear. You know, but then a lot of you niggas wear Nike. You know, you see, you see how it works both ways. You know, we got to stop doing this whole thing about watching each other. Stop being when the scriptures talk about watchmen, man. It's talking about look for look for real shit. Look for real shit, men are doing wrong, man. Don't, don't sit here and look for dumb shit. Men are just sitting there fucking watching just so they can expose. Just so, hey, look look what he did. Look, I got a, I got a fucking screenshot of him with his, with his man in the picture throwing up the Baphomet. Like, when you're speaking and you're, shaking, you're, you're going like this, you got to make sure your motherfucking pinky finger don't go up. Because they're going to pull, they're, they're going to find the goddamn picture of Richard Nixon or you might throw your middle fucking your middle finger up or something, you know, just to give an example. I don't do that shit, but you might throw your middle finger up in a picture and somebody will find a picture of fucking Bill Clinton throwing up a middle finger. See, he's a Mason. You know what I'm saying? Like, as funny as it is, you got niggas that's out here really doing that shit, man. Really thinking they're exposing men. In all reality, you're exposing yourself because you're a fucking retard if that's what you're you're, you're spending your fucking time on. You're wasting your time looking up, lo lo looking for stupid shit. That's why I don't, I don't do that shit, man. I'm not sitting here trying to be a weirdo like some of y'all, man. A lot, of, a lot of Israelites, man. A lot of you niggas are weirdos, man. We are does. Weirdos. Sitting here worrying about the wrong shit. Worried about... Worried about the, the the nigga in my picture throwing up a gang sign, or, or or chucking up the deuce, just to say peace. And you and you doing fucking far worse. You you committing adultery and shit. Fuck out of here, man. Like seriously, that's how bad this world has gotten, man. That's how bad this world has gotten where an Israelite can't fucking can't do shit. We really have to have to watch what we say in a rap song and all. Like if you if, if if you even rap, motherfuckers are gonna get on your case. God forbid you have a talent, man. 
God forbid you can hoop or ball. Because if you have a talent and you actually fucking play basketball on your day off or something, forget about it, man. Oh, you shouldn't be doing this, that, and the third. Oh, you know, we're not in the time for that. Fuck you. Who the fuck are you to tell me what time we in? That's what I got to say to all you niggas out there, man. Because I get tired of hearing that shit too. Oh, this this is not the time. Time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you niggas, like, like you got some spiritual clock on you or something. This ain't the time for that. Listen, the Lord is coming for, coming for his elect. And the elect, from what I see according to the scriptures, is going to be living right. That's that's the bottom line. It's not a, it's not all about oh, you know you you yeah you got to go out there and prophesy and teach this word. Don't get it twisted. I'm I'm all for one hundred percent for going to camp as much as you can. Not as much as you can literally, but you know because camp isn't it. It's not the only work you do. You know, but you got to live right. That's that's the bottom line. There's a lot of dudes going to camp right now that's not going to be part of the Lord's elect because a lot of y'all go to camp with malice in your hearts. What what purpose What what purpose do you go out there and teach the word of the Lord for, right? You're going out there and teach the gospel, but you a foul nigga. So that means when you go out there and you bring in fruit, you're going to bring them into a foul situation. They're going to look at you like the super elder, and then when you let them down, they're going to be twice as hard to salvage. They're going to be that much more difficult to salvage. You know, but a lot of you dudes out there, man, best of luck to y'all with y'all bullshit, man, because... To be honest with you, man, I'm not sitting here saying like like guaranteeing that I'm a man of the Lord, but I can tell you by the way a lot of y'all move, y'all ain't men of the Lord either. Stick with edifying, man. Why does it always got to be about a particular man or men? Oh, let, let's expose this one. Let's expose that one. Oh, he's not a man of the Lord. Oh, let me unfollow this motherfucker on Instagram because he took sides with him. Or maybe not even took sides. Maybe, maybe, cause I no no offense. A dude actually unfollowed me on Instagram right after the video I did saying y'all owe Sakari an apology. I'm not saying necessarily that's the reason, but he definitely unfollowed me right after that. And I'd never had a negative word with that brother. I had never once had a negative word or, or argument, nothing. But I did hear he was a former Sakari member. Never did nothing to him. And like I said, and I'm not sitting here saying or justifying anything Sakari may or may not have done. I'm just sitting here saying, you know, instead of fucking worrying about what they're doing and, and, and their Passover. You know, they, they put up a video apologizing for, for any offenses. Like, what more do you want from them? But men in this truth are so quick to to want to want to want to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and a lot of times it'd be the undesirables too, man. It'd be the dudes that nobody else want to go to camp with. And then you wonder why. You wonder why. I don't wonder why. I see it. I already see a retaining wall. I know this is going to be a challenge. But anyway, uh, but yeah. The bottom line is, man, we got to get our shit together. And getting our shit together is, in part, not worrying about what the next man's doing. Because that's a big problem in this truth, man. A lot of men are sitting here literally worried about what the next man is doing worrying about things that have nothing to do with them and 
Not a thing to do with them. And that's just the way it is, man. Unfortunately. It is very unfortunate, but it, it, it is, it, it's, it's just what it is. You know, dudes in this truth just have an evil eye towards one another. And honestly, this video is not going to change a lot of that. The only thing this video is going to do is probably, it might hopefully penetrate some of y'all thick skulls. And if it don't, it's going to take the blood off my hands. The scriptures specifically tell you, man. In, in Matthew's the fifth chapter, and yes, I am going to keep talking about this. If you have ought with your brother, if, you, if you're sitting here thinking you're going to deal with the most high, but you beefing with your brother, nigga, you got another thing coming. Most high don't give a fuck about what you have to say until you peace up with your brother. There is nobody... There is nobody that I'm not willing to talk to right now that have ever that I have ever beef with or been at odds with. You know, and that goes for all the ex-members of Men of Valor. That goes for well, me and Zabak already cool. <coughs> um, anybody. There's nobody that that has wronged me in the past or we've had beef because I don't want to just say wrong me. Maybe you know. It was just a situation where we mutually had issues. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we just have to do better. We just have to do better. We have to stop all this looking at each other. Like, cause really it gets, it, it gets borderline. It, it, it gets weird. Why the fuck are you so worried about the next man? There's there's a phrase, what you eat don't make me shit. At the end of the day, my job is simply to tell you when you're going off. Right? Not tell YouTube, tell you when you're going off. And as long as I told you or somebody told you, if I know that somebody else told you, why, why, why do I have to double up? And it's not my job to get mad when... Or if you don't take the correction. So a lot. Let me uh, answer this work call. Uh, but that's the point. Shalom.